what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk swirling is that situation where black women are tired of dealing with black men okay they want to explore their options they are uh, the antithesis of passport bros and when you talk to black women in their um, you know, sort of disgust of black male development and inability to do things, they want to deal with somebody else because they're tired of dealing with a lot of black men. And I can get the frustration. Now, it's, it's OK for black women to be frustrated with black men. But it's not OK for black men to be frustrated with black women. But that's the only story. OK, I want to talk about Lanisha Cole. Alicia Cole recently took some shots at Nick Cannon on Instagram. Now, she is his baby's mama, one of them, okay? And pregnant, had the baby, single mom, talks about how life is hard, but she got to do it for her baby. Although, if she wanted to make it easier, she would have found a father for the kid who would be there. But hey, this is the, the world of clout, clout and dusting it up. So yeah, you don't need no real husband. Just go over there and get Nick Cannon and beg him for child support. But interestingly enough, she has a new boyfriend. Lanisha Cole has moved on and the new man is Asian. Okay. Brian Paul Kuba. That is allegedly her new man. And this is what a lot of sisters are going to be saying. Girl, go ahead on. You got you a nice Asian man. That's cool, girl. I wish you lots of luck and lots of success and all of that. But then my question is, why did she have to come to the relationship with the black man's kid? Not, not, not being disrespectful, right? But he's, he's in the, an, another uh, ethnicity. Why couldn't she respect him enough to come to the relationship without any kids? Because it's not just that sisters feel like black men need to pick up the slack. This modern generation believes every woman should be getting the slack picked off of her bad mistakes. It don't matter. And if you're a black man, it's even better for you not to be there. Let's go and be a get a white man or the Asian man come in and rescue me from the black community, possibly with black kids. And you were just a baby mama than Nick Cannon just a few months ago. So it so then it doesn't make sense. Why are you even living that life? Why? It don't make sense. So now you have the struggle photographer as the new baby daddy, step daddy, caring for everything that he wouldn't do. But what, what guy wants to really, like what benefit of that is to the guy? To be step daddy. And so many ladies look at that as like, oh yeah, he's a real man. Oh yeah. And then you wonder about why, why, why so many brothers are not dating these ladies today? Why? I'll tell you why. It's that entitled attitude. That entitled attitude, which says that somebody still needs to take care of me, provide for me. No matter what happens, I deserve it. I deserve it. And guess who you end up getting? Not nobody like Nick Cannon. You get a regular guy who is not that successful. And that's how you live. You can try to make it look like something that it's not, right? You know, because Nick Cannon didn't want you. Now you got somebody who wants you want to make it look good. We all know he don't have the money Nick Cannon has. We know that. Why try to make it look decent when it isn't decent? But this is what they want. A lot of ladies want the ability to be able to go out and have a baby by anybody they want. And then somebody comes and takes care of it and give you a better life. Let me tell you this, while this may happen with Lanisha Nicole, 
or Cole, she is very beautiful. Very attractive. That don't mean the average woman's gonna do this. Even Brittany Renner. Well, I feel is gorgeous. What did she say the other day on Just the Pearly Things? She said, listen, I'm at 30. I'm already seeing the decline already. My phone is ringing less and less. So imagine you're rolling with a kid. Doesn't mean that anybody won't date you because yeah, of course they will. But it just puts a lot of hindrance on their free time that you can do things in the relationship. And we're not looking at that. Girl, he got a, she got a new man, girl. She tired of dealing with those Negroes. Somebody gonna treat her right? Really, are they? Are they? Are they gonna look out? Because it would have been nice if she was looking out for herself, not being slowed down in the business world, which is exactly what is going to happen. And, 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 and I, I see a lot of times you get these superstars, they end up getting guys that will take care of them. They want somebody to basically come in to be an all-star and take care of them like Michael Jordan took care, took, took care of the Bulls, no matter what they do. And the reality is that's not going to happen. Any man that is really successful and has his life going hardly wants to come in and take care of somebody's baby that they just knew had a baby last year and that the person he had a baby by had five different baby mamas how like i like like make it make sense what can somebody even think about it like that about you like wait a minute you were uh uh, uh just here with a baby by nick cannon with all these other ladies how come that you don't have enough respect for yourself to get a husband and people think people like remember that in the back of their mind like wait a minute this woman didn't even care enough about herself to make somebody wait to marry her and you want me to roll the dice with somebody who thinks like that? It's not. It's just. It, it, it's, it's just not cool. And for people who think that's okay for somebody to come in and play step dad, it is. But it's not guaranteed. And no man owes you that. They don't. Like Brian McKnight, wife got extremely lucky in my in my opinion. In the Philippines, two kids. Guy like Brian McKnight could deal with something on better terms. He's dealing with that. By far, he could be dealing with better terms being dealing with that. And, and, and that's what I'm talking about. Ladies don't need to get an idea that that person is coming for you. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of Subway Drunk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.